there, there's always going to be someone who feels that they can't speak. And it's not that they won't, but they can't because there's some oppressor on them and they're not safe. But then if I can see a living witness of someone who has gone through that and to see them there, there's an avenue of hope that's created where that person might then say within their heart, instead of, I'm gonna die in this, their prayer might change and say, you know what, God, get me out of this. That's what we want. I want women to see us stand before the camera emboldened, looking good, not like what we've been through, empowered, but saying, all right, sis or brother, um, I'm gonna speak for you until you get your voice. So I think End It Now is rightly named End It Now. And I actually wore black because for me it was like I'm coming to a funeral and that funeral is a funeral of silence. <laughs> um, because with this movement, there's an awakening. We really do care about your situation and we care that you're hurting and we care that you can't speak, but and we're fighting for it and, and we're patient with you and we'll sit in it with you. But the minute you decide that you're done and you wanna get out of it, that we're gonna be here to help you. That's I think the most powerful thing is just that platform to say that where no one can tell us to be quiet. And we're just gonna say it anyway.